Now this is exactly the type of performance you would expect to see at the International Championship of Collegiate Acapella. Am I right, Gail? Oh, John, you're so right, everything else seems wrong. Boy, these Barton University troublemakers always thrill the judges and the ladies in the room. Cannot get enough. <laughs> so true, John. Nothing makes a woman feel more like a girl than a man who sings like a boy. It's Ouch! Boy, that hurts. Sexy man split. His pain is our gain, Gail. Well, the Bellas tonight are making history as the first ever all-female group to advance to the ICCA final. That's right, John. Now, why do you think it's taken so long for an all-lady group to break through that acapella glass ceiling? Well, Gail, the women typically cannot hit the low notes, which really round out an arrangement, thrill the judges, and that can really hurt them in competition. Women are about as good at acapella as they are at being doctors. Oh, is it me, or do we just take a left turn in a snoozeville? Yeah, and we parked in a lot where they do not validate. Whoa! No! Holy! This is a surprise. This now, is this is how you bring some excitement to the right. International <laughs> Championship of Glejock. She had a week's worth of lunch and lost it. Oh, she didn't lose it. We know exactly where it is. It's all over the third oh, row. No. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. The 2012 Southeastern Regional Competition has officially begun. Yes, I'm Gail Abernathy McCadden, and to my right is fellow acapella alum John Smith, and we are live from Carolina University. It's a new season for acapella. The regionals begin the long road to Lincoln Center, where all of these youngsters hope to one day win a trophy by making music with their mouths. And the Sacapella is once again proving that it doesn't get better for everyone after high school. Wow. Huh. This does not look like the fresh faced nubile Bellas that we have come to know. Is it me or are those skirts just not working anymore? Well, you're walking the line, John. It's uh, a nice surprise to see the Bellas mixing it up. It's uh, refreshing, yet uh, displeasing to the eye. The Barden Bellas bringing back the same song they sang at last year's finals, and all eyes will be on senior Aubrey Posen. She could toss some cookies at any moment. And she makes it through, folks. No cookie toss. John, a change of pace could not come soon enough here for the Barden Bellas. This is not a, a great way to start their season. Yeah, this number is like an elephant dart to the public's face. Barden Bellas went deep into the archive for that song, John. I remember singing it with my own acapella group. And what group was that, Gail? The Minstrel Cycles, John. Well, that's an unfortunate name. Boy, the bad boys of acapella have just gotten badder. Ooh, that's right, John. I might have to excuse myself to freshen up the downtown. Can I help? Ah, here we go. The Barton Troublemakers, they're on the trail for Lincoln Center, huh? Absolutely, they always are, Gail. My favorite and everyone's favorite. Now, it says here in my notes that their front man, Bumper Allen, has recently released his own line of sports sandals. Woo, that little peanut can sing. He really can. It sounds to me, though, Gail, like his boys haven't dropped yet, if you know what I mean. If you mean his testicles, then I do, John. I do, I really do. Here we go again. Looks like they're sticking with what they know. A little tension on the stage tonight. Paws are out. This is just friendly collegiate fun. It's a tough competition, but we're all here to have a good time. That's right, John, but a mistake can haunt you for the rest of your life and affect your children. And the troublemakers seal the deal tonight. Unfortunately, Barden's other group, the Bellas, do not advance, and senior Aubrey Posen loses her chance to redeem herself from last year's puke gate. We are from the Collegiate Acapella Association. It has come to our attention that you are not in college. Is this your mother? <laughs> Welcome to the finals of the 2012 International Championship of Collegiate Acapella. Lincoln Center is proud to welcome back all these young hopefuls tonight who are hoping to win a trophy by making music with their mouths. This is going to be a big night, and I tell you, Gail, if you can just shut your eyes. I'm doing it. Shut your eyes and get rid of all the acapolitics, then you can remember being at Lincoln Center here in the Big Apple and singing on this storied stage is the dream of every acapella singer. You said it, John. The treble's closing it strong like always. Absolutely tight. It's going to be very hard to beat that tonight. Oh, every other group has their work cut out for them, John. Well, I'm glad it's not us anymore, Gail. Those days are over, thank goodness. <laughs> Especially since they wouldn't have us back.
Oh my goodness gracious, will you look at this? Gone are those Bella uniforms, and this is a whole new look for them, and it is hot, hot, hot. Jump, these girls could turn me. What a show! I think we have just seen some acapella history being made, John. And from an all-female group, Gail, oh. I could never have called this one. Never? Well, you are a misogynist <laughs> at heart, so there's no way you would have bet on these girls Absolutely. to win. Absolutely. Apologize, we're mad and running free. They call us crazy youngsters. Ba, 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 ba. Welcome back, acapella enthusiasts. My name is John Smith, and sitting here to my left is Gail Abernathy McCadden Feinberger. Oh, this one's going to stick, John. Well, you saved the Jew for last. <laughs> You're listening to Let's Talk Acapella, the world's premier downloadable acapella podcast. We are coming to you live from the nation's capital, where the Barton University Bellas are about to rock the historic Kennedy Center. Boy, these girls have broken down every single barrier in their path, haven't they, Gail? Absolutely, John. The first all-female group to win a national title, three-time to Defending champs, and now here they are performing for the president of the United States on his birthday. Wow, what an inspiration to girls all over the country who are too ugly to be cheerleaders. Here's Becca Mitchell, leader of the group. Look at these sequins and sparkles. Oh my, their feet just don't stop moving. Oh, Florencia Fuentes just turned her green card, John. She may have to do that backflip right back over the fence into Mexico. I think she's Guatemalan. Oh, none of that matters. There is so much happening on stage, I don't even know where to look. Back in my day, we put on our blazers and we just sang. We maybe snapped our fingers if we were feeling frisky. Whoa, another surprise! An overweight girl dangling from the ceiling. Who hasn't had that dream? Lots of us! Okay, oh, she has no that, underwear on. Oh we have a commando situation. There is a commando situation on stage! Oh, he's on top of it! Oh, what kind no. of person? Then take her back up! Pull her up already! She's turning! She's turning. No. Brace yourself! She's coming! She's coming! Not the front! Nobody wants to see the front! Oh, no! <laughs> His names I've already forgotten. Your little southern exposure in front of our commander-in-chief has irreparably damaged the entire institution of a cappella. Just blew it up. Funding is drying up. Sponsors are pulling out. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, an example must be made. It is the decision of this governing body that the Bellas are hereby suspended from competing at the collegiate what? level. The terms of your suspension are laid out in this document. I'm sorry, but it's over. Was it? Being replaced by the European champions, a German group of total professionals. In other words, they're going to keep their pants on. Oh, so that's it then. Look, ladies. I'm sorry that this disciplinary action has shocked you, especially since you're all seniors. But the truth is, you're just women. And you'll all be pregnant soon. Ah, uh, yes, the World Championships of Acapella, where every four years, groups from around the globe compete for world domination. I'm sorry, I just feel like I always have to be on. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, look, ladies, we can't stop you from going to the world's <laughs> competition. It's not going to help your case here. Not at all. What, if you win it? <laughs> like, you, you outperform the other groups. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. how do you fit such big dreams in such a small body? What if you win it? <laughs> what, if, what if you win it? Sure, but no American team has ever won. <laughs> That's because they hate us. The whole world. <laughs> the whole world hates us. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Talk Appella, the portable podcast edition. We are following the story of the embattled Barden Bellas on their road to redemption. Trying to crawl their way back into the public's affection. And if they can just hold off mm. uh, showing us any more of their genitalia, mm. they may make it to the world championship. Well, I can't unsee it. It's haunted I, it's, me ever since. I, well, here's a picture of it right here. No, this should not be your That's screensaver, John. Stepping onto the stage, the Barden Bellows. Whoa! All right, oh, this is some exciting here. stuff. So sexy. Wow, a lot going on up there. I think this sounds good. Honestly, my senses are overwhelmed here, John. You might want to tone down the theatrics. Let's hope there are no props. Oh, they brought the props out, John. And there 
are the props. This is more of a circus act than not compelled performance. Gail, it's as if the Barton Bellas just don't know who they are anymore. Look at this! Beating DSM seems impossible for this team. Even these common people can see that the Barton Bellas have no shot at reinstatement. They are an embarrassment a cappella and all that it stands for. Mm. This is what happens when you send girls to college. Is it? Here it is, yes. folks, the granddaddy of them all. The World Championship of Acapella. Then night groups from around the globe duke it out for the title of Aca World Champion. And of course, representing America, the embattled Barden Bellas. The Bellas making one last attempt to repair a damaged legacy by becoming the first American team to claim the title. Can they do it, John? Theoretically, yes, Gail. Realistically, absolutely not. Those girls are dead to me. So many countries represented here tonight, John. We saw in rehearsal an incredible group from the Philippines. What yes. were they called? Uh, uh, the Lady Boys. Uh, that wasn't the name of the group, I don't think. I think that's how they described themselves. That's right. They're a Manila Envy. Manila Envy. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I spent some time with some Lady Boys uh, in the Philippines myself. Not um, surprising. Very interesting young men. Doing I mean, amazing things with their mouths, I presume. When we go back to the stage, I'll do a few for you here uh you know we'll, we we can get to it okay. i think you know, maybe maybe when the koreans are out there because no okay. one cares about the korean group love that barbecue Ooh. well done there oh. they go the indian group the non-stops running off stage to take a few more of our jobs i thought the little one was spicy dsm dsm dust sound machine an incredible performance once Whoa. again from the german group I'm telling you, Gail, though, if the Bellas of old show up tonight, this could be the most significant conflict between America and Germany in history. Crack a book, John. John, it's possible we are watching the last hurrah of the Barden Bellas. It's going to be very hard to pull this off, and if they don't, they are out of business as an acapella group. It is over. Is it possible the Barden Bellas are doing an original song? Look at this! It looks like the Barton Bellas are being joined on stage by generations of Bellas going all the way back to the beginning. Simple, raw, vulnerable, exposed. I've been called a lot of things, Gail, but let me add one more. I'm impressed. I thought you were gonna say gay. They have touched every person here. They've touched me, John. Well, everyone has touched you, Gail, but this is something else. Today's the day. We're getting her time. Is your sound equipment working? You don't worry about what I'm doing. Oh my doing. God, she's right there. I got her. Here, get in here. Got it. They were world champions. The winningest acapella group of all time. The Barton Bellas, an unlikely group of not men who somehow managed to win at something that didn't have to do with baking. You know, girly, you're this close to being cut out of this documentary. So you're in the danger zone. We're going to be clinging to you like mom jeans to a camel toe. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> A little town called Persistence, Sweet Cheeks. That's right. Here, there's the thank you. Look at this, ladies. <laughs> all access passes were tall enough for all the rides. Here you can is. run, but you cannot hide. This documentary is happening. We're going <laughs> to film this whole thing. It's going to be beautiful. We're making a beautiful documentary. In fact, we got to set up. Where are we going to set up, John? Let's set uh, the stage, all right? Let's get ready before the fellas out. Hey, guys. Out. Idiots. What do you think we care about just watching you guys? It's a competition, hello? Wait, yes! A rip-off! Yes! Oh yeah, bring it, fellas! <laughs> oh, go, ladies! <laughs> fellas are doing what they do best, quitting. Here's the problem, John. The Bellas are not as good as the other bands. That is a startling insight. The Bellas reunited, finally on stage. They're gonna rock these troops with their mouth music. And as predicted, Gail, the Bellas are in over their heads, lost in a sea of semen. Whoa! Oh. Top low! What was that? That, my friend, was taps from the back of the house. It's to honor fallen soldiers, and tonight, it's the fallen Bellas. Look at this! Those girls don't even know what to do. They look like idiots. This is the best thing for the movie. <laughs> Couldn't be better. Well, these Bellas actually seem to be enjoying themselves, Gail. I think it's possible the Bellas could be picked by DJ Khaled. You can say that again, and I hope you won't. Well, the soldiers are loving them. Let's see if you can keep this up, girls. Catch me! Everybody catch me! <laughs> I got a little bit of your panties, but who hasn't? <laughs> catch me! Yeah. What a fitting swan song for the Barton 
develop. Yes, and as these young women approach 30 and cease to be of value as human beings, perhaps this is the bittersweet memory they will take into the bar with them. Here we are, the final show, the conclusion of the USO tour in the south of France, coming to you from the Citadel. What a gorgeous setting here tonight under the stars. Isn't this beautiful doing a wonderful musical presentation in a bunker? In the south of France. I mean, it's so romantic here. Uh, I've never been to France. <laughs> I hope never to come back. Oh, no, it's not a place for you. Oh, no, no, there's no good people here. No, no. And here's Becca Mitchell stepping onto the stage just as small as she was the day she was born. You know, we've been following this little Sprite Light lady for, I don't know, seven years now, I think. We have been showing you her new life out in the real world where she's out to take another perfectly good job from an able-bodied man. I can't believe we finally got our big ending. <gasps> you got all that on camera, right, John? Sure, I did. This is confusing technology for a woman. It's child's play for a man. All right, because the red light was not on, so I just had to ask. Gail. John. Who are we kidding? It's just us. It's always been just us. Maybe we should just drop this facade between us and speak honestly about how we feel. Oh, my. Gail. John. I love you.